Welcome to Pro Stitcher Designer Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. I want to show you how to create designs using the Raise tool. On the screen, let's start by opening a new page. Click on the Home tab and then select New. We have, now have a clean design page to start from. I want to start Design for Raise always with a simple closed shape. And the easiest way to draw one is to use the Artwork Tools. So let's click on the Tools tab and then from the Artwork, click on the bottom half, and from the menu, let's choose a star. You'll notice that I now have a star attached to my cursor so I know exactly which shape I will be drawing. I'm gonna click and drag to create my star, and if I hold down my control key, it keeps that star proportional, which I am doing. When I get my star the size I want it to be, I'm gonna let go of the click, and I now have a very nice proportional star ready to add some rays to it. Let's go over here to the Quick Access Tools and click on the Select tool to select the star. And then from the ribbon under the Tools tab, right here in the Create box, we'll choose the rays. You can see that the star is not as clearly defined in the center here as we'd like, so we're going to change some of the settings here. Let's change the spread to 75. You can highlight it and type it in, or I could use the up or down button to change this also. The count, let's change this to 30. And then click apply to preview the design here in the window. Oh, that looks fantastic. That's exactly what I was going for. Let's click on OK to load it onto the design page. I now have this great design with the star clearly outlined in the center with the rays. Let's walk through the steps of assigning stitches and then saving this design. To assign stitches, let's go to the preview tab. With the design selected, I can choose either stitches or artwork in the convert box. Because we want to assign stitches, we'll choose stitches this time. This design now has stitches assigned to it. And if I come down to the properties box, the sequence properties box, I can see here at the end that it tells me how many stitches are in it. So stitches have been assigned, which means that I can now save this in a quilting file format. To save, let's go to the Home tab and click on Save from the ribbon. The Save As dialog box will load and I can give it a name. We'll call this Star Rays and then choose a file type. I I'm going to choose HQV and click Save. My design is now ready to be sent to ProStitcher and I can stitch it out.